Hello everyone, this is Tanya and Sundra Olsen B, aka Sandra Olsen. Bye, ciao ciao, and we are here to do a little dancing shoe review video. This is based on the request we received from our fans all over the world, from dancing scene, also from non-dancing scene, about what kind of shoes we are wearing, where can they buy them. So we decided to collect everything we have, and especially recently, and just present you what we've got. Honestly, it's no advertisement, it's just to send the links to people asking the questions. And you will find the links underneath the video. Exactly. So, let's review some dancing shoes. With the most popular ones, these ones. These are the ones I'm using in my most uh, recent videos. They are Millilira brand and they were given to me for free as a test version and we are very thankful for that, both me and Sondra, because he also received some shoes to test. Uh, their pink is leather boots and you can see here the brand Millilira. They uh, have special uh, place here with a hose which allows your foot to breathe. They're quite stable. This kant makes it quite stable. They have a little heel here to support you, the foot, and uh, they are pretty soft. So it's very easy to, to go on your tiptoes if you need. And the sole itself is uh, not too slippery, neither too sticky, so it allows you to spin even on asphalt if you need or on, the, on parquet. Um, so yeah, I would gladly recommend those shoes. And nowadays I switched over to, to Millilira. So uh, as Tanya said, uh, I've been lucky to test the shoes and he's been very generous with, uh, with me and uh, present me three pairs. So they're very nice. Um, and Tanya spoke about a lot of stuff. However, the thing for me that really stands out with the Millilira shoe is that the quality is just insane. And especially this particular pair that um, Millera represented me. Represented. Yeah. Should I start again? It's actually very funny how you say it. Repre we, we will keep it represented. And then breathe and uh, yeah, go. So this particular shoot that uh, Millera did not represent me, but presented me. Um, back in 2019, uh, they are still in uh, excellent shape. You can see that there is just a tiny bit of the luck that is like gone. But other than that, the shoe itself, everything is solid. There has been no problem. And I have been wearing them all over. Like these bastards, they have been on snow, cow shit, mud, asphalt, rain, water, all over the place. And yet they still look so good. And there is not a single damage on them. So the quality also for Millilira is, is excellent and I will not name drop any other brands, but in my experience, I've tried very many brands and there has been a lot of good shoes, but most of them, in my case, they break after one year, two years, but Millilira's quality is just um, really, really solid. So it's Other shoes you see on the most of the videos, especially Dancing Through Norway, is uh, these ones and these are Blair shoes. Uh, unlike Millilira shoes, they have much softer soil, so it gets peeled off if you step on the hard surfaces. So if you are taking part in the big event where you have to go from the dance room to the dance room on asphalt, you have to change the shoes, of course, but these are especially requiring changing because you see here, they get peeled off if you overuse them a little bit more. And yeah, I'm, I'm sorry they're a bit dirty after our dancing through the Norway videos. Uh, when I was still competing uh, in Boogie Boogie, I was mostly wearing the, the Blair shoes as well with actually the, the white Eva sole. I prefer to have a little small heel on them. Um, this is Tanya's model. Uh, which I've, I always found them very comfortable for competitions. Uh, about these ones on the heels, uh, Saint Savoy, uh, they are very beautiful, they're very popular, but I must admit that in the very beginning when you start wearing them, um, they're a little bit hard on the foot, so you need to wear them a little bit before they get uh, adjusted to the shape of your, 
of your foot. Otherwise, they're pretty comfortable and they're not too sticky and either too slippery, so it's comfortable to spin in them. And the heel is pretty stable, so it's not, uh, yeah, it's not dangerous to dance in them. And my most favorite ones with the heels are those, I bought them in Ukraine, it's Grand, Grand Prix Ukraine, but these are basic ballroom shoes. And uh, out of all of the heels, I prefer them because they're very stable on the surface. They're very good uh, yeah, on parquet to spin, but you must really take care of them and change them a little bit often if you use them often. And these are the same here. And for those of you who wonder which shoes you should wear for general use, meaning like out on the street, when you go to a nice party if it's not dancing, it's Crocs all the way, baby. <laughs> and if it gets, if you have to be fast and if it's slippery, you put on the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also very solid. So crocs when you're not dancing, guys. Peace out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this dancing shoe review video made by us, make sure to like and leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Do it. And share our channel with your family, your friends, and share the links colleagues, to this video. everyone. Yes. Until next time.